Uh, we got about a mile from my house, and he received a telephone call. Um, it was over the Bluetooth um, inside the car, so I could hear kind of the conversation. Uh, he stated that uh, he had a rider in the car and that he would call them back immediately after uh, he had dropped me off. Um, once he hung up with that phone call is when he started driving really erratically. Uh, he was uh, running red lights at that point, squealing the tires. Uh, we ran a stop sign and uh, sideswiped another vehicle. Um, and that's when I obviously was uh, panic, panicking. Did you say anything to him? Yeah, I was pleading for him to stop the vehicle so I could, so he could let me out. Um, he was surprisingly calm the whole time. He uh, was just stating that, he was like, don't you want to get a ride to your friend's house? Uh, don't you need a ride? Um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, please just pull over and let me out. At that point, he refused to stop. So he was um, calm. He wasn't, he, he didn't. driving really he, erratically. He didn't seem agitated or anything like that. He was calm, even though he's driving very fast and erratically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, we were swerving into oncoming traffic. Once we got closer to my destination, um, I was yelling at him, like, please stop, please stop. That's when he, uh, he started to get more agitated with me, and he was stating that, uh, he was like, where's your friend's house, where's your friend's house? And I was pointing out random houses just so he would stop the vehicle, and I jumped out and ran away, and that's when I called 911. And what, what, did, they, what did 911 say? Had they gotten any reports about him, or? I think this was the first report. Um, they uh, just stated, uh, I told them it was an Uber driver. I gave them a description of the vehicle and the license plate number. 